these are the 20 weirdest NBA moments of all time. And uh, for number 20, pay attention to this ref right here. Ugh, you can't just grab a man's cheeks like that. That's gotta be a foul, right? But as weird as that was, at number 19, we got a player that's even weirder. And just watch how this man gets ready for a free throw. So had Billy's their best player eject ejected. Be Belly just pulled his shorts down right in the middle of the, the crowd <laughs> right there. You don't, you don't see that very well. Mmm, nice. Now, uh, going to an NBA game seems like a good idea until you get caught on live TV doing something weird like this fan. For all the wrong reasons, for all the wrong reasons, one, their leading scorer, Carmelo Anthony, 27 plus points a game. Out, home, draining his knee, trying to make... Wait a second. Did you see that wink? Eh, this dude knew exactly what he was doing. What a weirdo. Now, for number 17, we got something special. You're about to hear the weirdest thing said by an announcer in NBA history. I tell you, I took a look at Baines in the shower. He looks like all of Australia. <laughs> he is really put together. Uh, okay. But, I mean, at least he didn't make a move on the dude. Like Blake Griffin did in our 16th weirdest moment. I <laughs> saw. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Ah, uh, Blake, that's not the job this man signed up for. <laughs> now, coming in at number 15, we got the weirdest NBA matchup imaginable. Manu Ginobili versus a bat? It was in 2009. It was Halloween night. And the bat was flying around, and there's Manu Ginobili. And looking like a hockey goalie. Oh, Manu knocked it out of it air! Did he just say this happened on Halloween night? That's straight up spooky. All right, guys, now we gotta talk about Trey Young for a second. Cause what he did at number 14 is so weird, he should be banned from TikTok for life. Oh, Trey, what are you doing? Uh, uh, don't wink at me like that, no. Trey, don't, don't do it. Don't. No, no, oh, no, God, Trey, why? Damn it, I looked up to you. Uh, let's just move on. Now, for number 13, we got a halftime show that's so weird, I can't even explain it. was weird, but it doesn't even compare to number 12. The weirdest halftime show in NBA history. Yo, listen up. Here's a story about a little guy that lives in a blue world. And all day and all night, and everything he sees is just blue like him. Inside and outside, blew his house with a blue little window and a blue Corvette, and everything is blue for him. That wasn't weird. That was beautiful, man. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's move on to the 11th weirdest moment. The time that a referee quit his job mid-game to become an NBA player. 68%. Damn, do you see the form on that block? Ooh. All right, we're entering the top 10 of our list. So things are about to get really weird. It was a 2018 game between the Spurs and the Lakers. 108 to 108, five seconds left. Josh Hart has the ball, game on the line, when this happens. Three to go, Josh Hart to the rim. No, no, pick up. It comes off, we'll go to overtime. Yeah, uh, they just played a commercial during the last second shot. Uh, whoever's running ads at ESPN is smoking rocks. Now for our ninth moment, we got Russell Westbrook pulling off the weirdest trick in NBA history. Make sure you pay attention to the basketball in this clip. Westbrook able to get inside again. The ball just straight up disappeared. This dude's a witch. And somehow, 
it's still not as weird as number eight on our list. <laughs> All right, thank God that's over. Enough, that's enough, no more dancing, no. <clears throat> now, if we're talking weird moments, how can I not bring up Dwight Howard? This dude's known for doing all types of weird stuff. But there's one specific moment that takes the cake, and we got it at number seven. Long three is no good. And Dwight fouls Dorsey. That's the fifth on Dwight Howard. Why is the ref leaning into this kiss? You know what, let's just move on. Now, coming in at number six, we got the weirdest moment in NBA Finals history. It was 2017, game five of the finals. And late in the second quarter, both teams started getting physical. But if David West does not get that first technical, that's a double technical right there on both of those guys. So the officials... Ugh, did, did I see some tongue? All right, now, for our fifth weirdest moment, we got Costa Kufus having a full-on conversation with himself. And just make sure you pay close attention to what he's saying here. <laughs> People don't subscribe to eBay. Weird. Huh, yeah, yeah, that is pretty weird. People should subscribe. But anyways, for our fourth weirdest clip, I've got something you've never seen before. The time that Carmelo Anthony literally fell asleep in the middle of the court. Smith intercepts the pass. Anthony out on the floor. What is he doing? Well, they're playing around it. And it's a travel. They call a travel. This dude, Melo, get your head in the game. All right, now we're entering the top three, so we gotta ramp things up to a whole new level of weirdness. And coming in at number three, we have the weirdest NBA interview of all time. Meta, I've been asking a bunch of players whether they call you Meta World Peace or Ron Artest now, and all the rookies say Meta, yeah. <laughs> and all the veterans say Ron. What's up with that? Is this some type of hazing? Well, I'm just, I'm most happy uh, that Jesus Christ um, did not let me lose my teeth when I was 20 years old. I just think he's really brilliant that you lose your teeth when you're a baby rather than lose it when you're like 30 or 20. You know what, Meta? I, I wholeheartedly agree with you. Thank you for sharing. Now, as weird as that clip was, our number two moment is even weirder because it involves the creepiest fan in NBA history. See, back in the 2012 playoffs, the Nuggets and Lakers were facing off, and late in the second quarter, this happened. The Nuggets now lead 49-44 as we approach a minute left in the first half. Look out. Apparently a, a fan ended up on the floor. All right, now, you're probably thinking, this lady was just drunk, she made a stupid mistake, but... This is where things get really weird. This lady has a history with the Nuggets. I talked to a couple of the detectives. Detective Todd Erickson, who had immediately grabbed her and walked her off the court, said several years ago she was found stalking or following several players. She has basically been banned from the arena, but she got in tonight. Yeah, this lady was trying to creep on players in the middle of a game. There's no way it can get weirder than that, right? Well, there's one more clip on our list that's even weirder. And it features the one and only Hall of Famer, Charles Barkley. See, during the 2007 NBA All-Star break, Barkley challenged 67-year-old referee Dick Bavetta to a foot race. And if the race itself wasn't weird enough, what happens afterwards makes this the weirdest NBA moment of all time. What the? That 
That's like actual lip to lip, spit to spit, DNA to DNA kiss. Ugh. But listen here, I'm gonna kiss you if you don't click on this video right here. And I got herpes, so trust me, you don't want that to happen. These are NBA players that dated celebrities. What are you doing, dog? Click it.